Hey YouTube, Brian coming at you with another uh, fish room update. Uh, this is going to be on all the freshwater tanks downstairs in my basement fish room. And um, just thought I'd take you through everything. It's been a month or two since I've done an update and uh, a lot of people have been asking for it when I've been uploading shorts. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Comment below which tank's your favorite, which fish is your favorite. Uh, and if you are interested in purchasing Southern Delight fish food, go to aquaticsupportsystems.com. Also, if you are interested in the uh, plushies by Green Pleco, there's plecos, there's different fish, and there's shrimp, and there's bettas and everything. Um, I also sell those on aquaticsupportsystems.com, so check that out as well. Let's get started with the tour. All right, we're gonna start today with the Oscar tank. This is a 300 gallon marine land reef ready. This is the uh, deep dimension, if you call it. It's three foot uh, from front to back and then six foot wide, which is bigger than a 300 gallon that is eight foot long, uh, which I got over there. But um, yeah, this is doing, this tank's doing well. The Oscars continue to grow. Um, it's a little cloudy right now because of uh, feeding time. But uh, you can see these guys are looking well. Uh, we got some glare problems like you usually have in a fish room, but um, got all the loaches still doing well. Convicts are breeding like crazy in here. The Oscars are doing well. Um, got some of the bikers uh, swimming around as well. There's some of the convicts. Uh, the jewels are back in this tube right now. Let's see if we can rile up some fish by putting up our hands at the top. Yeah, now people are thinking, people, fish are thinking it's feeding time. But yeah, overall, things are well. Four Oscars in here. Two of them are up front. Two of them are chilling in the rear of the tank. But yeah, that's that tank. They're a little, I guess, fat and happy from feeding now. And there's particulate floating around in the tank. I should have done the video before I fed. But sometimes I just go... Let's shoot a video and whatever the situation is, the tank condition, whatever, that's what I do. We'll go ahead and move over here. This one's a little cloudy and has junk in the tank as well from feeding, but this is, I would say a pretty overstocked tank at this point, um, but this is Cheeto, the Midas Cichlids tank and this female. Um, Cheeto is old. If you're new to this channel, he's getting up there in age, but he's a really nice looking Midas cichlid, Amphilophus citronellus. I'm pretty sure he's blind just by some of the things that I witness him doing, especially at feeding time, but he's still a heck of a good looking fish. Um, and then in here also I've got some silver dollars, some uh, convicts, and I think there's a couple of hunter and red points, and maybe a jewel or two in there as well. The convicts breed like crazy in this tank. Oh, there's a jewel. But things are going well there, can't complain. And then down below here, we've got the Hadiensis tank. Pulled a bunch of fry in this tank recently. Sorry about all the water spots. I, I didn't clean tanks before doing the video. This guy is just really looking awesome. And I uh, got two females in there, one over here and one over here. One of them, I'm not sure which, recently probably laid eggs because there was some fighting between the two and usually when they start facing off, uh, that's a sign that um, eggs had been laid by one of them. But like I was saying, I recently pulled some fry and we're gonna save them. Um, look at that yawn. Um, and uh but i didn't have a tank to put them in um, and the guy my buddy james that i was saving them for decided he didn't have room for them so um i just put them back in the tank and of course they didn't make it like usual but um didn't have room to grow them out and uh so gotta do what you gotta do moving on to the umby tank this is a 300 gallon acrylic tank it's an eight foot tank and you can see 
they're kind of thinking about maybe spawning here. Um, she's getting kind of that blonde color. You can see them doing a little uh, head shaking and stuff uh, before I started getting closer to the tank. Um, he hasn't been as aggressive with her lately, although you can see there's damage to her, probably permanent damage. Now he's going to go ahead and get aggressive, but look at his head shaking there. He wants to spawn. She's going to go hide, but this guy, I'm thinking he's getting close to 10 years old now. I didn't start with him, but uh, the guy I got him from, Mike Mann, when he got out of the hobby, um, he had already had him for a few years. He's grown quite a bit since I've had him, though. If you're new uh, to this channel or new to Umbies, this is a Chronoharos Umbariferum. This is a real Magdalena um, variant, or that's the that's the um, the uh, location um, collection point, I guess you'd call it. Um, in my opinion, the real Mags are he's got some he's got some problems on his lip with some uh, from some from some lip locking that he did with her recently. Um, but my opinion, real mag umbies are the, by far the best looking umbies and funnest to keep. Um, these are F1 and they're from different parents. So they're not, uh, if they breed and I were to get Fry out back out there into the uh, community, uh, they would be, they wouldn't be line bred or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, um, doing well overall. Always fun to have this fish and, and watch him. He's over 20 inches long at this point. Real nice looking specimen, other than his lip problem right there. Hopefully that heals up with no issues. And over here we've got the 210 gallon dual stack the bottom is the Red Devils, among other things. And the top are the other Midas. This guy's Cheeto's brother. But in these tanks, I've got, uh, in addition to the pears, I've got jewel cichlids and um, clown loaches, as well as uh, bikers, bitchers, bishers, whatever you want to call them. Um, things are going well in both of these tanks right now. Um, I'm thinking about moving this red devil pair along so if you're local and are looking for a red devil pair hit me up um might be able to work something out but here's the male he's got some awesome big lips and there's a female over here and then a bunch of jewels and clown loaches down below um up above is we'll get a closer look at the minus Ooh, one of the vicers is out right now There's four or five in there. They like to hide a lot, especially during the day. You can see a couple of them back there under the filter. They come, they go under this rock structure. This guy's just full of piss and vinegar, as you can see. Um, he's the most aggressive one I've got right now, I think, in the fish room as far as all my fish. Um, it's just really fun to watch him interact. This is the male, this is the female. Again, Amphilophus citronellus, whereas red devils, Amphilophus labiatus. And um, loaches, jewel cichlids in this tank as well. Some jewels with some really nice red color there. Look at these guys. can't see the, no, you're not going to see the, the bishers. Um, and then we'll go over here to the non-aggressive fish area, although still cichlids. we got the angelfish still. Um, just kind of deciding what I want to do with these. They're growing a little bit. Um, the orange color is coming out a little bit more in a lot of them. Um, and then we've got the uh, red checkerboard pigeon discus here. I've got five of them. I'd say probably a little bit of growth. 
since the last video. They're doing really well. Getting to be a little less skittish. Takes time with discus in my experience. I'll feed these guys before we hang up the, the video here too. And then down below here are the uh, tiger turquoise. Got five of them as well. Seeing a little bit of growth with some of these as well. Um, some of them have better coloration than others, like this guy right here. I really like his color. But yeah, the discus have been fun. Um, I feed them mostly uh, freeze dried black worms and. Um, um, what are the other worms? I got them right here. Tubaflex worms, Tubaflex worms. And then I feed them some frozen beef heart and stuff like that, um, blood worms. I'm gonna do a feeding right now with the uh, frozen black worms. Did I say blood worms before I meant black worms, if I said that wrong? What I like to do, they just come in these cubes I like to stick it to the glass. See, they're, they're into it already, but I like to try to do this by holding the camera. I like to just press them onto the glass and then they'll go crazy over them. For whatever reason, this guy never goes up um, to feed with the others right away eventually he will or he'll catch food uh, that comes floating down see now he's going up they're so skittish too like they freak each other out all the time one little movement or something and they all freak out um but uh you know i've had discus in the past and that's nothing out of the ordinary i'm still trying to decide what i want to do as far as discus goes i may if I move some fish around, I may make this upper 180 gallon or this 210 gallon uh, discus only tank. Still thinking about that. I'm also thinking about possibly getting some African cichlids and they would probably go down in this tank, the bottom one. But again, that would be um, after moving some fish, getting rid of some fish, moving some fish into different tanks, things like that. Um, we'll go ahead and feed these bottom ones here too. These ones are a little more aggressive when it comes to eating than the others, but see, I close the lid and I try to set it down as, and they freak out, but then they come right back. I don't know if you can hear it in the video, but you can hear their little teeny teeth hitting together when they, when they take pieces of the black, black worms. These guys are still going at it here. But that's really all I got for you guys today. Uh, I appreciate you watching. Again, check out AquaticSupportSystems.com for uh, all your fish product needs. Um, appreciate the traffic over there. It just helps get the website more noticed. And um, appreciate you checking out my videos. If you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Um, any comments uh, would be appreciated, and um, until next time, thanks for watching.